Good morning and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, it is currently 52 degrees in Chicago. It's about 50 here, um, which is weird because well, actually no, it's right now it's actually 52 here as well. So yeah guys, it's 52 degrees, like legit 52 degrees. So it's supposed to be 57 is a high and 52 is a low and we're going walking. So I literally just have a sweatshirt because I was like, you know what? This is warm enough weather where all I need is a sweatshirt. So I'm going walking this morning. Jack already got off to school Matthew is sitting here right now because he's not leaving until like 9 30 and then um, everybody had their parfaits except for Jack ate the wrong one he ate mine and he was like I didn't like it that much she's like I don't know there was like weird little seeds in there and like there was blueberries I was like you ate mine this one with your name on it was yours because I left the Cinderella one the one I made yesterday um, just I didn't put any name on it because I was like well if my mom wants it she can have it or else I'll eat it if um if you know she doesn't end up having it in the morning which she didn't um which I kind of figured she wouldn't but I just left it you know because I didn't tell her before I went to bed that I had made it for her um so I was like well you know what if she figures out to have that one if not if she even looks in the fridge because I didn't even know if she's gonna eat anything here so I was like well I'll just leave it and if she wants it she can have it or if not I'll eat it but Jack ended up eating mine which had blueberries in it which I know he didn't like so that's why I specifically added the no blueberries to his so I was like fine you know what I'll have Jack's little one and um, I'll eat um, probably like toast too for breakfast when I get back from my walk which we should be going in just a few minutes now so it is now about 11 o'clock Matthew obviously already got to school he left at about like 9 30 and um, I already I just got done doing a load of dishes um, and I also got a vlog edited I have two actually I found out that um, one I don't didn't upload yet I edited it like I think on Friday or something like that but I didn't get it uploaded and so I'm going to um, upload that probably later this afternoon or something like that but I also have Windows 10 scheduled to update on my computer at um, 11 p.m. tonight so I should already be asleep by then but I have to make sure that I get my vlogs edited in and are well I have to make sure I get them uploaded before that so I got one done and then I got another one partially done so I got one and a half vlogs kind of done um I just have to pretty much finish up the editing on the one I got the dishes done the table pretty much cleaned off um and it is all before 11 o'clock plus obviously I already had breakfast I actually had pizza for breakfast because um I'm gonna save that little parfait because it's like too small for me to even really have for breakfast and I was like well I could either have two pieces of pizza which was the leftover pizza um or else I could have the little parfait and like try and find something else I was like I'll just eat the pizza and then maybe have the parfait later if I'm still kind of hungry but I might just leave it for Jack to eat when he gets home and then um, before Matthew and Jack get home, I'm going to try and see, or like around the time when they're getting home, see if I can cut up some like fruits um, and stuff like that. Maybe some apples or something for them. I don't know if you guys can tell up there, but it is raining right now. Um, there you go. You guys saw some driplets. It's actually like the perfect spring day out. It is like warm pretty warm out it's sunny and it's raining so it's like a perfect spring shower right now it is so perfectly spring I am so happy today is like the perfect perfect spring spring day so um it's like 50 something degrees I think it's probably close to like 55 now and um you know it's just it's warm out it's sunny and it's raining that's like I love rain like I love it and I hate it at the same time, but like today is so perfect because it's warm out and it's rainy. Like you could still be outside in the rain right now because it's sunny too. You know, it's not like lightning and you know, thunderstorming kind of thing. It's like just a light spring shower. It's so perfect, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, so far I feel really accomplished in what I've been able to get done all before 11 o'clock. And, um, you know, I'll, I already planned out to the meatloaf, the recipe that I'm going to use for tonight and found all the ingredients for that. So, um, luckily we have everything that I need. So yeah, now I'm just going to take a little bit more time, work on a few other things and probably do another, finish up that vlog as well. So it's about four o'clock and I'm going to start dinner for tonight. 
this is everything I'm going to need to make the meatloaf. Like I was telling you guys in yesterday's vlog, my mom had defrosted this three pound thing of ground beef that we had just in the freezer. I think she bought it and then froze it. So um, we are using this stuff, um, which normally I would have used like ground turkey or some type of like more lean ground beef. But since we had it in the freezer anyway, and my mom had defrosted it to use it yesterday and then ended up not being able to get enough time to cook it. Um, so we are I mean, I told her I'd make it today because she didn't know when she'd be back from filming today. So um, I got the ground beef. I got two things of tomato sauce. Luckily, I was just barely able to find two. I had to dig through the cabinets. I was able to find two things of tomato sauce, both different brands, um, but no big deal there. So um, also an egg, onion. I'm using fresh garlic this time, Italian seasoning, paprika. Uh, black pepper, sea salt, and then also some white whole wheat flour as well. So um, that's what I'm going to need to make up this recipe and I'll show you guys it when it's all finished. So dinner is served for tonight. We've got some steamed cauliflower. I realized also I had baby carrots that I could have steamed along with this, but oh well. We've also got the meatloaf and um, I just left out the grapes which were from earlier and I am going to have some lentil soup um, with my water, which I've already finished an entire one of these water water bottles which I'm supposed to be having two and a half of these a day is my should be my water intake for the day but um normally I only finish one so I've already got one and now I'll have hopefully starting on number two for the day even though it's kind of late but um yep that's what's for dinner tonight <laughs> We finished with dinner. Everybody enjoyed it. Um, it was, you know, pretty good. It was meatloaf. It was just, you know, quick, easy, I guess, dinner just to use up that ground beef. But I am going to pre-make the breakfast in the morning, which is supposed to cook on low for 10 to 12 hours. So it should be done by, like, oh goodness. Um, what is it right now? It's 8 o'clock, so anywhere between, like, hopefully by the time my dad gets up, right around, maybe around the time my dad gets up to, like, um, the time Matthew and Jack go to school, I think everything should be done. There's nothing in here that, like, except for the eggs, I guess, that, like, have to be done. Um, but everything else should be done by that time. Um, so this is what I'm going to need for everything. It's just a crock pot breakfast meal. I got eggs. I think you need six, but I got just, you know, I'll use six of them. Um, and then I got two bell peppers. I'm going to chop up a whole thing of, um, uh, potato puffs I guess tater tots um it calls for one pound but this is two so I'm gonna probably use half of this bag an onion cheese and um I'm not sure how much hand it calls for a half of a pound of ham which I think this might be um I'm just gonna cut it up which um this my dad bought actually I think last week and didn't use it so I'm gonna I have this whole or maybe use a piece or something but I have this almost whole thing to use so um that's what I need pretty much for this breakfast I'm gonna real quick whip it up and show you guys how it is after Afterwards. Here's breakfast guys. It's all finished up. Um, I got the eggs over top and then it's a layer of cheese, a full, I think it's like two layers. So basically how it works out is like there's one layer of tater tots and then so that would be like a half a pound of tater tots and then um, the half of the thing of, of um, ham which I just cut the ham even though it's deli sliced ham um, I didn't have anything else so that's what I went with and use that and then um, put the onions and then bell pepper and then did that again on the second layer and then put the eggs over the top so this is going to stay on low until my dad wakes up at five o'clock and turns it off which i think it'll be plenty done by then because i've made a recipe similar to this where it didn't have eggs in it though but it, I, I, they should still be done by five o'clock in the morning and it's not even nine yet so i think they'll they'll be they should be done by then and if not um i guess you can just leave it on for matthew and jack and um but anyways that is um for that is what's going to be for breakfast so it should be perfectly fine just like a fix it and forget it thing leave it on overnight i don't have to do anything else and everybody has breakfast in the morning except for me i'll probably maybe just make myself some tater tots because there's still a little bit of that left but now i'm going to go watch the uh bulls game i missed almost a third period making this thing so come on ivy let's go watch so guys it's about 10 15 i'm going to go hop in the shower and then go to bed i am editing well actually i just finished editing the second vlog for today i just got it done and um i am 
uploading one right now. I'm going to upload the second one too before I go to bed. And then, um, and I also have the dishes all done. I just have to run it after I get out of the shower because I'll just do that because it'll be easier. Um, but the third vlog that I'm not the one that I'm editing, but the one or the one that's editing is saving right now. So um, that one I should be able to get up in the morning as well, which I have to leave my computer on tonight because I'm going to be updating to Windows set, uh, Windows 10, Windows 7, jeez, <laughs> um, to Windows 10. And it it's actually really cool. It lets you schedule out when you want to actually have it uh, update, which I was going to be at 11 o'clock. And then I was like, well, you know what? What if my video isn't done uploading? by 11 o'clock so I was like you know what it came up and it was like in one hour it's gonna update and I was like wait can I change it and it was like of course you can well no it didn't say that but you know it's said I it said on there like you know if you need more time click and you know you can add two hours so I added two hours so it should update at midnight tonight which I just have to leave my computer on I think I'm just gonna put it in sleep mode though I think that should still be fine though um because it'll still be on you know it just said to leave it plugged in and like turned on like I don't think on on but because I don't want to I think sleep mode should just turn my monitor off right because I can't sleep with the light on from my computer screen or like any light on almost at all so it would probably be a problem <laughs> if it was on so hopefully it'll end up still working even if it's in sleep mode but um if not, I'll have to figure out how to turn off my monitor if it doesn't end up working. But tomorrow my friend's coming over at like 9.30 in the morning and we're going to the mall, which the mall opens at 10. Um, and normally I think we're there at like 11 or something like that. Or like 11 noonish. But we'll be there at like, um, we'll be there at like 10 o'clock I think until 1. So we'll only be there for like 3 hours. But just to get our walking in and stuff like that. And I always like, I don't know, I've, I've been such a homebody like recently. Now I'm like, I want to like hang out with my friends more. Because like my one friend that I go walking with on Mondays and Fridays, she's actually going to a different college. She's moving colleges or transferring in next semester I think it is so I was like oh my goodness it's gonna be so sad like she's gonna be living at the college so I won't have her like right down the street anymore so um you know I'm trying to like hang out with my friends as much as possible too because we don't know you know when somebody's moving somewhere or going places or whatnot you know so um I'm just like kind of taking advantage of that now more and I feel like too it's nice because I can actually like get a chance to like talk to my friends and stuff like that you know and I don't know just because like I'm not in school and like we can actually like more catch up on like things that are actually going on versus like you know school stuff where that's what it always seemed like when we hung out in high school and now it actually seems like it's more like life things you know what I mean like I don't know like it just seems like petty things that we talk about in high school you know like that kind of stuff and now I feel like we're more mature that we talk about more interesting things I guess you know like what we had for breakfast and stuff <laughs> um but not really you know but just I don't know just more like more mature things I feel like than like high school where you're like oh my gosh I can't believe she did that or you know he said that or you know kind of stuff like that was like I feel like like I don't know I wasn't that that really like type of person like I didn't talk about that kind of stuff but it was just like more like things that were like not really important you know what I mean and now I feel like I have good friends that I can talk about like good things about you know what I mean like not just like boring kind of like oh my gosh did you paint your nails kind of thing even though we still talk about that but you guys get what I'm saying so um anyways so guys I'm sorry I went on a complete tangent there um but I'm going there in the morning tomorrow um and also I got the dinner or breakfast cooking for tomorrow and I think for dinner I'm going to do like a pasta primavera which is one of the recipes that I had planned out for this week it's just going to be a like quicker easier one kind of that I don't have to do in the crock pot which would be nice but um anyways though I will talk to all of your sunshiny faces in tomorrow's vlog if you guys enjoyed today's make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I will see all y'all tomorrow. So bye guys. Protein, I guess, kind of um, parfait is, is not, I actually, they don't have vanilla, like plain, they have only plain Greek yogurt Aldi. So I got the big thing of 
uh, vanilla with whole milk yogurt, which is the organic stuff. And this on here is um, 8 grams of protein, I do believe. And then these protein, and that's for one cup, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use a full on one cup. Um, I probably use maybe about a half a cup per one and then a little bit less I'm going to use for Jack's because um, I don't even know if he's going to like it at all. So um, he's like, yeah, I'll try it. So I don't want to waste the whole ton on his. And then this for a half of a cup is 10 grams, um, you know, just adding that up depending on exactly what I end up using. But it could be, you know, close to about 10 grams or so of protein I might use for breakfast um, for between everybody and then I got blueberries strawberries and blackberries to also add in on the parfait